Hi YouTube family, welcome to Concept in Medicine. In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at the maternal pelvis. So first of all, we want to look at some basic anatomy about the pelvis. So let's begin. So the bony ring of the pelvis is made up of two symmetrical innominate bones and the sacrum. Then someone will ask, what is an innominate bone? Innominate means fused okay there is no motion there they are fused so the innominate bones is a fused or refers to what the fused bones of the pelvis either side of the sacrum and you should know that each innominate bone consists of the ischium the ilium the pubis which are joined anteriorly at the pubis symphysis and posteriorly to the sacrum at the sacroiliac joint now let's talk about the pelvic boundary what you should know is that the pelvis is divided into the greater or what is known as the false pelvis and the lesser also known as the true pelvis by an oblique plane if i say oblique it means it's going like this by an oblique plane passing through the prominence of the sacrum the acute line, the pectineal line, and the upper margin of the pubic symphysis. And this plane, its circumference is known as the pelvic brim or inlet. So in short, the pelvic brim or inlet separates the greater pelvis, or what we call the false pelvis above, from the lesser pelvis, or what we call the true pelvis from below. Then another thing that we want to talk about before we move on is what are the contents of the false pelvis. So you should know that the false pelvis contains the terminal ileum, the sigmoid colon, and portions of the ascending and descending colon. Now, what does the true pelvis contain? The true pelvis contains the rectum, the bladder, the pelvic ureters in general for both male and females. In addition, in the males, it contains the prostate gland and the seminal vesicles. And in addition, in the females, it contains the vagina, the uterus, and the ovaries. And you should also know that the plane of the pelvis is at an angle of 55 degrees to the horizontal. Now let's talk about the basic shapes of the maternal pelvis. So you should know that there are four basic shapes of the maternal pelvis, namely the gynecoid pelvis, the anthropoid pelvis, the android pelvis, and the platypeloid pelvis. Let's look at them one by one. Let's start with the gynecoid pelvis. So you should know that the gynecoid pelvis is a classical female pelvis with an inlet transversely oval and a rumia pelvic cavity. And you should know that the gynecoid pelvis is found in about 50% of the female population. And that tells you that the most common pelvis in the female population is the gynecoid pelvis. The next shape of the maternal pelvis is what we call the anthropoid pelvis and you should know that the anthropoid pelvis it is a long narrow and oval shape pelvis due to the assimilation of the sacral body to the feet lumbar vertebrae and it is found in about 25 percent of the female population the next shape of the maternal pelvis is referred to as the android pelvis. For the android pelvis, the pelvic inlet is heart shaped, the cavity funnel shaped with a contracted outlet and it is found in about 20% of the female population. And finally, the platypeloid or what is also referred to as the flat pelvis. The platypeloid or flat pelvis is a wide pelvis flattened at the pelvic brim. That is why it's called a flat pelvis. 
with the sacral promontory pushed forward. And this particular one, it does not favor vaginal delivery and hence is found in owning about 5% of the female population. So there is a trick to go about the popularity of the basic shapes. And that trick is 50, 25, 25. So that will be GAP. That will be G-A-A-P. So the G is gynecoid, that is 50%. The A, anthropoid, 25%. The A, android, 20%. And the platypoloid, 5%. So that goes in this manner. 50, 25, 25. So we are saying that 50, 25, 20 with a stress, 25. 50, 25, 25. I hope that makes sense to you. So the gynecoid, 50%. The anthropoid, 25%. The android, 20% and the platypeloid 5%. So in all of these shapes, the gynecoid favors vaginal delivery the most. Hence, it's present in majority of the females, that's 50% of the population. Followed by the anthropoid, which is 25%, android 20% and platypeloid 5%. And the platypeloid does not favor, it does not favor vaginal delivery at all. I hope that makes sense to you. And finally, what I'm referring to as the inlet cavity and the outlet, simply this is the inlet or what we call the brim. This is the cavity and this is the outlet. That's what we are referring to. And we are saying that this particular brim or outlet is an oblique plane. And we are saying that the pelvic inlet separates the greater pelvis or what is known as the false pelvis above from the lesser pelvis also known as the true pelvis from below i hope we've created an understanding and i hope the concepts are clear if they are clear to you then that is very good but kindly make sure you subscribe you comment and share the video and also don't forget to comment in the commentary session, concepts that you would like to see in my next video. Once again, this is concept in medicine. Be ready for another concept in our next video. Bye-bye.